Hey Mitch, the RV guy here for RVs of Sacramento, bringing you another fantastic value and travel trailer. This completely awesome trailer is a 2020 Jayco Whitehawk, the 23 MRB, the one with a beautiful Murphy bed, extremely short trailer that still gives you all the usable living space. When you're going down the road, it's easy to tow, but when you get to where you're going, you have all the room you're looking for. I'm gonna start up by showing you the inside, show you kind of one of the things that sets a Jayco apart with build quality, and then I'm gonna take you on the outside. We're gonna talk about the difference in construction and the difference in exactly why it tows so much better with the Jayco as well. Thanks guys, I hope to see you. Yes, this is the inside of a 23 footer. It's unbelievable the amount of space you gain when you don't have that six foot long bed permanently inside your RV. Instead, I'm able to relax on this beautiful sofa and at nighttime, when it's time to sleep, I can put this large queen sleeper down and we don't have that taking up the space during the day. So we actually have this large amount of room. Let me show you. You're going to be extremely impressed with the amount of space you get in this Stacey Stewart designed interior. For one thing, you've got this full depth slide out. Most slide outs are actually only going to be 18 inches deep. This is a full 36 inch slide out. That's twice the amount of space that they're going to give you. So here in the slide out, you have, of course, your real wood facade going across the slide out. And it's actually supported by actual structure board beam. That's going to be like you use in high quality construction. For example, if you have a garage door that you need to stay the exact same shape the whole time, that's what you're going to use or a beam in a basement. Jayco's the only manufacturer in the world to use structure beam, which is why their slide outs always maintain the exact shape. And it's exactly why they don't have as many problems as other manufacturers. You have a large Furion television here. This television's rated for negative 80 degrees to positive 180 degrees. That is so that if you have it in extreme storage, you don't have to worry about your TV going out like the off-the-shelf TVs. This is a nice 5,000 BTU fireplace. So not only does it look nice, but you can turn on the heat in that and it actually is going to take the chill out of the air really, really well in the wintertime. Notice the beautiful decor here. Stacy does such a good job. One of the world famous designers that Jayco works with. A large, large window on this actual table here that does have a pull out leaf so you can seat additional people. And take a look at just the beautiful backsplash here with the actual wood paneling. Super, super gorgeous. Uh, towards the front of the coach, you've got wardrobes on both sides of the nice couch seating area, which is a perfect place to be able to sit if you're gonna watch the television. And of course, the large Murphy bed there. The Murphy bed actually flips down when the couch jackknifes and it forms a large sleeping area which is extremely nice and when the bed is actually down not only does it make a huge walk around sleeper that's very comfortable but it opens up that nice large front window which is actually a windshield it's an automotive windshield so it's not going to leak like the front windows of the past will this has the exact same resistance to moisture as a windshield that you're going to have in your car and more of that extremely beautiful wooden decor Stacy Stewart designed going all the way around this is truly a nice interior you've got a additional windows on both sides and then the actual kitchen for a 23 you're going to be extremely impressed at how much space you get uh, again that beautiful real wood construction of the Jayco these are actually screwed and they have back plates in the walls that they're screwed into they're not stapled so these are very very high quality cabinets that you get with the Jayco LG solid surface countertops here which is very very nice and you also have integrated dual side stainless steel stink with high rise faucet that's going to be just like you have in your house where you're able to take it out spray down the dishes makes it really easy in fact you even have integrated into the countertop here really really cool 110 power plugs and usb outlets and it goes down and out of the way when you don't want it which is really really cool one of those little jayco features uh, even the drawers on the jayco themselves are very very high quality drawers so these guys are actually full extension ball bearing residential style drawer glides but these are rated for 75 pounds not 30 pounds like most manufacturers are with a very occasional manufacturer coming in at 50. Furion home style residential oven. This is going to cook much better than the Dometics or the Magic Chefs that you get in a lot of them. Along with your high point microwave, an actual large full size exhaust fan, not one of the little silver dollar ones. And it does give you a beautiful skylight letting in that light when you're in the inside. A Dometic dual door refrigerator freezer, extremely easy to open with the wood paneling that matches the decor. And it is a temperature adjustable fridge. A lot of them are not, you're just stuck on whatever temperature they want. Even the large storage right here has adjustable cabinetry that you can move these out and about and make it larger. And the bathroom, speaking of storage, take a look at just how beautiful this aged distressed wood is and just how large the storage is that you get inside of here. Talk about massive. In addition, of course, to having your drawers, an actual porcelain toilet as opposed to the plastic ones, and a full duo form ABS surround shower 
with this nice glass it's going to close in on you and you don't have to worry about it and this is a fully supported shower most manufacturers are going to have one two three st uh, stands that those are sitting on just like little stilts and it's actually going to be floating underneath there with the pvc p trap because of that distance that they have to give you with the floor in order for making the plumbing work. With the Jayco, it's actually fully supported, so an average adult can actually get in there and jump up and down, and most manufacturers get inside the shower and kind of bob up and down a little bit, and you're gonna feel all the play that it gives you. Huge medicine cabinet, and again, the glass is actually integrated in. When you take a look, you notice that it has a back plate. It doesn't have a bunch of goop that's actually gluing the back of the glass in like you're going to see on most of the manufacturers. The difference in quality is staggering. Even the AC system on the Jayco is a helix ducted system, something exclusive to Jayco. There's no 90 degree turns. Everything's very gradual. And especially with that whisper quiet AC, it makes it much, much quieter inside the coach with the climate control on, making it easier for you to hear everybody when they're talking. One of the big mysteries that people have is why exactly did Jayco trailers tow so much better going down the road than other travel trailers? Quite a few things. First thing you're gonna get with the, J the Jayco is the Dexter never adjust axles. What that means is you never have to adjust your brakes. Most all RV manufacturers require your brakes to be adjusted every short period of time. Otherwise the braking suffers significantly. With the Dexter never adjust axles, if you're going down the road and you have some guy pull in front of you, uh, he's merging onto the freeway, real slow going 25 miles an hour you, you don't have any choice but to slam on your brakes with the Jayco you're going to be able to stop easily let's say you have a hundred foot braking distance you slam on your brakes you stop right behind the truck if you didn't have the never adjust brake system and your brakes were slightly out of adjustment over time which is going to happen then you're going to be stopping 50 percent worse that's the difference between a hundred foot and 150 foot stopping distance or the difference between you stopping right behind that truck and plowing right through it you're also going to get Goodyear tires. These endurance tires are extremely nice. They're actually rated for 87 miles an hour. Most manufacturers don't have tires that are rated for that high. And they're more importantly, 80 PSI tires. That means if you go into a gas station, your tire's a little low, you can fill it at the gas station. You can even use your home compressor. Nine out of 10 manufacturers, the tires are going to be 110 PSI tires. That means you have to go to a truck stop, a place with a heavy duty compressor. Otherwise, you're not able to safely inflate your tires. Also, these tires have extreme puncture resistance on the side. So if you're going down the road and some piece of debris hits the side of your tire, it's much less likely to have a blowout. In addition to that, they give you the more ride MRE 3000 suspension. That's going to give you three inches of play. So when you're going down the road and you hit those massive potholes on Highway 99 or I-5, even though the suspension is shaking up and down like going insane, the actual travel trailer itself isn't getting shaken like it's in a paint mixer. Instead of having all that vibration going into your sidewalls, going into your cabinets and shaking everything apart, it, it doesn't have nearly that same amount of force on it. So it's going to last a whole lot longer than other travel trailers. One of the main reasons why Jayco has such better resale value. Outside, you can really appreciate that integrated front fiberglass cap with that automotive bonded windshield. Again, this is not the old windows from back in the day that are gonna leak on you. This is an actual windshield like you would have in your vehicle. Very, very nice for letting in the light and having the additional view, but you don't have to worry about the leaks from back in the day. Electric front lift, of course, on the Jayco so that you don't have to worry about cranking it up and down. Now, even the frames, this is a Norco frame, so it's gonna be the strongest weight to strength ratio of any other frame manufacturer. And Jayco also uses an integrated A-frame. So what that means is you see this A right here? Most all manufacturers, that A is going to come and it's going to stop right here at the very first outrigger for the frame. And those outriggers are going to be basically every eight feet long in most all manufacturers. The Jayco, the A-frame actually comes back and it integrates into the main I-beam back here, giving a lot stronger structural support. Jayco also goes between four and six feet for its outriggers. That's like having additional uh, additional ribs that are going down the actual frame of your RV, giving it much, much greater strength and supporting the sidewalls directly. That's one of the main reasons why Jayco's have stronger resale value because the frame is so much stronger. You're going to have large, large power awning. You just hit that button and it comes out giving you the, the nice shade. Uh, in addition to having your marine grade speakers there, a uh, grab handle with the very, very nice more right step up system, not those chintzy steps from back in the day. And of course, one of the best things about it, your outside actual large kitchen here that's going to give you the cook area uh, even the little Jayco bottle opener I think that's neat uh, along with an actual uh, sink area and a refrigerator for you to be able to have refreshments guys even the actual wall itself 
This is a vacuum bonded sidewall. Most manufacturers are gonna do what's called just a pinch roll. So what they do is they take the layers of the wall and they put them all together and they basically glue them down and they push them down this roller. Love the backup camera that they have uh, prep right there. And it goes into a machine that basically smashes it all together. It takes about two seconds. It goes out a metal roller and out spits your sidewall on the other side. And that's what the other manufacturers use. Jayco doesn't do that. They take the sidewall and they put in a large hydraulic press that's going to push down for 144 tons of pressure. Imagine how many bags of cement that is sitting right on top of your sidewall. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bags. And that is for 16 minutes in a complete vacuum. That's what forms your Jayco sidewall. That's why it's so much stronger and you don't have nearly the delamination or leaks that you did in the other manufacturers. Even the roof itself is 50% stronger, 5-0, than other manufacturers. The Jayco roof, the Magnum Trust roof system, rated for four 500 pounds, no problem at all. It uses two by two wood studs in the roof as opposed to little, thin, frail, one inch aluminum studs that they're going to use to hold up the roof and other manufacturers. At 4,500 pounds, no problem on your Jayco roof. At 3,000 pounds, the other manufacturers, the roof starts actually caving in. And at 4,500 pounds, the roof completely caves in with the other manufacturers. Not to mention that even how the roof is just constructed, Jayco actually screws down their roofs. Most all the other manufacturers run down and they take a wood staple and they go kerchunk, kerchunk, kerchunk. Yeah, it takes 30 seconds to staple down a roof and it takes a lot longer to screw your roof down, but I would much rather have my strong, 50% stronger, sta uh, uh, screwed down Jayco roof as opposed to the 50% weaker staple down roofs on the other manufacturers. Guys, if you're looking for an RV, 9501 East Stockton Boulevard, RVs of Sacramento right here off of Elk Grove Boulevard and Highway 99, 9501 East Stockton Boulevard. We've got a massive selection of motorhomes, a huge, huge inventory of Jayco's and other travel trailers and fifth wheels and the manufacturers that go around this entire building. Full service, parts, sales, service, consignment, dealership, 40 years, family owned and operated. There's a reason why we have such a good reputation, folks. The same reason why Jayco has a reputation that they have, because we earn it. Come down here and you'll see the Jayco difference and the RVs of Sacramento difference. Tell them Mitch sent you and I'm looking to hear from you real soon.